having me here. Extremely grateful for giving this wonderful opportunity to share my story on this prestigious platform. As we know, stories are important. Women need to share their stories with women around them. If we do not share what we want or desire, the world will forever make their own stories of what we want. I would like to start with a little secret. I am Ella Arora, and of course that's not a secret, but throughout my schooling, I was the only Ella. There was no other student with that name. I come from a city that has the maximum Indian prime ministers to its credit. Yeah, you guessed it right, Allahabad. We lived in a huge Punjabi joint family. We were 40 people living in the same compound with totally different mindsets, except one thing in common. No one ever differentiated between boys and girls. They fully, fully trusted us and our decisions and completely instilled the belief that what men can do, women can always do much better. One important learning from joint family was that it helped to understand human nature, invest in relationships and recognize their worth. Being an avid reader, I was forever interested in writing. I started as a freelancer for various publications like Femina, The Times of India and Amaruchala. Now using this as a launch pad for my speaking skills, I also freelance for All India Radio. Since the beginning, networking had been my forte and this luckily landed me to a job as an executive assistant to the managing director of a software development company in Allahabad. When I started working in Gurgaon, real estate was at its peak. I had the wonderful opportunity of working at the leading real estate company Vatika, assisting both the managing director and the president sales and marketing and what an incredible experience it was. Transitioning from an Indian company to a multinational commodity trading company was a different experience altogether. Majorly because of the fact that we were 20 women in a workforce of 200 people in the corporate office. I was at LTC for five years and had four bosses, three Indians and one expat. As an organization, it was where I had the freedom to learn and do so much, ranging from calendar management for the CEO to travel and event management for the entire organization. It was learning come fun all the way. Then Oyo happened. Three rounds of interviews, getting selected and joining the most sought after startup. It was indeed a dream come true. I was lucky to have joined as the first executive assistant in OYO and it was great to start from scratch. My journey has been really exciting, ranging from working in a software development company to real estate to a commodity trading company and now working in the office of the founder and group CEO of the world's most sought after hospitality chains, OYO. Startups is always about hustling. It is not an easy job to work as a hustler. Syncing with different mindsets, high level stakeholders, yet ensuring having the same vision and goal is what makes the business work. The role of an executive assistant has vastly involved in the last 10 years. Executive assistants give companies and managers a human face. Their scope goes way beyond calendar management. Now, they are troubleshooters, translators, diplomats, human databases, travel consultants, amateur psychologists, and ambassadors to the inside and outside world. In my role, I have been fortunate enough to work with highly successful people. And there's one thing that I have learned from. 
you are the difference go beyond your comfort zone and create that difference in order to create that difference in one's field the inherent quality in addition to determination is being a good listener being inspired and empowering others industry trends are definitely changing and in a highly competitive world it's important to come out ask and explore ask for development and training ask for what is your due explore opportunities and don't get short changed just because of your gender one mantra as they say and you follow by this and you will see the marked difference in your day to day life all of us are on a toes there are multiple chores to be accomplished but a simple time management formula creates wonders i am an integral part of the women's network in my organization and while aiming to ensure diversity all across i strongly believe that women should not wait for someone to do it for them be your own master find your inspiration resonate with your ideas and bring the change remember no one can make you feel inferior without your consent and no one can define what's right for you i have been very vocal about my priorities throughout my career span i have never compromised on them there have been pros and cons to it but ultimately this is always a win win situation because i have been able to put my point across the table and also ensure to give more than 100% in all situations we had never ever witnessed such a situation but now it is here the pandemic in our own ways we are trying to deal with it we are trying to work in that atmosphere and we are learning something new every day it is crucial to understand that helping others in the community has always been the demand of the day the pandemic has just reiterated the faith while work from home proved a boon for someone it has its own challenges for others empathy to connect and reach out to my peer group has helped me to step into someone else's shoes and realize that we take so much for granted if there is anything this pandemic has taught us it's that ambition is not only the most important thing it is not the most important thing in the world what is important is that we are healthy we are surrounded by the people we love and are productive enough to get things done in stipulated working hours as we see there are so many women leaders all around us but i strongly believe that leadership is not role specific it is indeed about not only creating something extraordinary but realizing that to run and sustain anything not just requires perseverance and persistence but emotional intelligence as well soft skills and interpersonal skills have been the key areas of my development for most women leadership is not meant only to accomplish organizational goals but for transforming their teams and coworkers by bringing the best out of them any organization that is led by an inclusive leadership team makes effective decisions that deliver better results promoting women folks within the organization and best utilization of the talent will make an incredible change in the years to come i am a firm believer in standing up for women as michelle obama rightly said we have to find a way to continue to lift other women up in our worlds and in our lives as much as possible a 
Along the way, there are a few key learnings that I would like to share. Believe in yourself and exude confidence. Be a good listener and a constant learner. Choose well. Choose your own happiness. Set your priorities clear. You are your own boss and better than anyone else. Have faith and things will fall into place. More than just learning, unlearning, updating and relearning is the key to stand out and have a career that is both enriching and empowering. The goal is to stand out in your workplace and if required, also stand up for yourself. Here I would like to conclude with just one line. Niyat se niyat bhi hai. Meaning, destiny is built on intention. Right intention, desired destiny. Thank you.